Hey guys, it's gonna be a one take. Um, went to work from six till two. Actually got adequate sleep last night, probably close to eight hours, maybe seven and a half. Having said that, I did wake up at like 2.30 and thought I wasn't gonna be able to get back to sleep and I told Emily to get off my half of the bed. You've been on my half of the bed a lot lately. I mean, this new mattress has the partner disturbance thing, so I don't understand how, you take, how you're in the middle all the time. I got seven hours and 29 minutes of sleep, one hour and 12 of deep, one hour and three of REM. Um, it's like top tier for me before morning shift because I can never manage to go to sleep early enough. Why is um, <laughs> Carly is obsessed with mac and cheese. <clears throat> if I wanted to get a similar amount of sleep or like eight hours of sleep, I'd have to go to bed in 40 minutes and that's not going to happen. But yesterday I managed to make it through without a nap and today I managed to make it through without a nap. I got home at about 3.30 or 4 o'clock today and I was like, fuck. I ended up having a decaf coffee. Because I think some of the reason I might struggle to sleep at night is if I have a coffee when I get home from work to motivate me to do stuff. Decaf, contrary to popular belief, actually does have some caffeine in it. So I think it was a good option. Um, had my decaf coffee and then went for a run. So I only went on three runs last week, one of which was my benchmark run. So I ran 8.8 kilometers in total. Today I ran like 5.3 and I've got to say my posterior tibialis was playing up even though I strapped it. I'm just going to be stubborn, keep strapping it, massage it, work on strengthening it because I've spent far too long away from running and I miss running. Um, a big part of the reason of what's irritating is obviously my weight's a lot higher than it has been in a while. Obviously with healthy, healthier eating and less eating and drinking on the weekends that will go down and money will become easier so it's more incentive. I really enjoyed the run. My easy pace at the moment is above eight minutes, like eight minutes and nine seconds was my average today, something crazy like that. Whereas in October last year, an easy pace <coughs> was like six minutes and 30 seconds. So it's a big difference, but I'll get back there eventually. I'll get fit eventually. My VO2 max has gone from about 45 to 42. It's really not good. But yeah. Um, so that's my first of four runs this week. That was 5Ks, the next one will probably be four, four and a half, and the one after that will be three, so that's 12. And then it wants me to go on a 9K long run, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't know that I will jump from doing 8Ks last week to over 20Ks this week, so I might cut, might cut the 3K run. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well, take care and I'll see you tomorrow.